Hello, hi, my name is Petra. If you're new here, and welcome to next video. So it's Saturday, it is 12.42. I woke up like half an hour ago. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I'm gonna sort this. I'm gonna put makeup on after maybe like three weeks. And we will go to central London. I know it's a bit of suicide to go to central London on Saturday, but I feel like I need to go out. It's actually sunny as well, which is lovely. And I just want to bring my Kindle, get some a delicious coffee and just read. I actually started a new book, so I'm reading Band of Brothers, which is a bit rogue, but not my kind of usual type of book but because I'm watching The Masters of the Air on the Apple TV and I used to love Band of Brothers it was one of my favorite series ever I think I watched it like eight times nine times maybe uh, I was like Do you know what let me just read the book as well and then I will rewatch the series so yeah basically so let's just get ready now and go so I'm finally ready makeup done hate it Hate my hair, it's just in ponytail, but it is what it is. Guess what? It's getting cloudy now, but I don't really care. We're still going, so yeah, let's go. Take me to the place where I surround by light. Can we just start over? Can we just rewind? Take me to the place where I surround by light. So far, so far, burden heavy, lungs are empty, feet are steady. So far, oh, it's a long time coming, been a long time, been a long time since I seen the sunlight. Got me thinking about you, baby. Oh, can we just start? Good morning. <laughs> wow, see the volume I have when I wake up. When I don't need it, it's insane. Anyways, um, it's Sunday. I had the worst night sleep ever. I had way too much caffeine yesterday. I had coffee in the morning. Then I had another coffee. And then I had matcha. And I didn't sleep till like 3.30. I was constantly tossing and turning. And I feel awful, not gonna lie. It is almost 10 o'clock. Weather, I bet it's gonna start raining any second. It's disgusting, it's grey, and I hate it. Um, I obviously need to go to gym, because yesterday I haven't been. I've been lately so sore, like I've been now like nine days cons uh, consistent with my 10k steps, and I've been one, two, three, for five five times in the gym and then on Friday I actually did a home workout I got a bit like anxious during the day with work and I just uh, put this like kind of dancing walking video on YouTube on and I just did it I hit my steps I burned like 500 calories or something like that so it was actually really good I really enjoyed that so uh, in nine days I work out basically for six days and I am so but um, it is what it is uh, I'm gonna do shoulders today hopefully if there's a space on the benches and and yeah and then after that we'll go to little and then we'll figure out what we do next well figure it out I need to clean my room I have to say it's not too messy it's just unorganized which is surprising for me and 
to be fair, that's actually a sign of a good week because I didn't, um, I didn't demolish my room, so that's nice. Um, and then I need to figure out what I'm doing. So yeah, tidy, tidying my room. I hopefully will set up my iPad so that I can properly draw. I still haven't done it. I'm procrastinating on that one and. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see and then I'll give you kind of debrief. Is that how it's called? Debrief? I think so. Of yesterday to which cafes I went and what I got. so accomplished right now today in my room i had my food i showered i washed my hair i did my skincare i have clean clothes i just feel good which is nice so yeah yesterday obviously there was a plan to do cafe hopping um i have to say it's not that easy to do it in london especially on saturday so i had a couple coffee shops which i wanted to check but they've been just like ramped, like there's so many people and you had nowhere to sit. So I managed to only do two. So first I went to Cubic Cafe. They had really nice kind of iced uh, Viennese style coffee. So that was delicious. I really enjoyed that. I was reading my book as well. I sit by the window seat. So I did some people watching as well, which was really lovely. Uh, then I went to Chestnut Bakery. Um mixed feelings so again was ramp um not very nice stuff i have to say i was sitting by the bar uh got myself a sandwich it was all right like the sourdough was delicious i have to say it was it was a good good sandwich and i had a matcha latte which wasn't bad but uh yeah just the whole kind of experience wasn't the nicest and yeah, I haven't spent that much time there as I wanted to. Uh, then I went just pop to TK Maxx because it was right next door to see if they have my favourite leggings. They didn't, so I didn't even film because, again, so many people. Like, I thought it's like living cost crisis, but not really because people have been shopping a big time. So that was that. And then I just went home. Um... Yeah, so not as eventful as I thought. And then on the, on the way home, I actually, when I was in the bus, I had like a, I just been like listening music because I had enough of reading and I kind of was thinking, I was like, why am I even like bothering? Like, what's the point of me making these videos? And because they're not getting, you know, the reach is not that, uh, as high. Uh, I'm constantly losing uh, subscribers and it's kind of doubting. But then in the same time, I was thinking like, do you know what? Yes, not many people watching my videos, not people subscribing. However, I am doing something and I know I really need to go over the block I have in my head that uh, I need to force myself to do stuff for the vlogs which obviously is a nice kind of motivation but I should kind of be like you know what if my week is boring I should film it it's boring you know I should be doing like checkups maybe every single day and maybe telling you how I feel about you know my fitness journey or how it was at work and etc and I'll just kind of wait for the weekend and then feel that pressure that I need to film and then obviously I get anxiety and get a little bit overwhelmed and that's not the best because let's face it when I'm traveling uh, I'm in a new new place 
there's people that I've never seen and I'm never gonna see them again and probably I'm not gonna be in that place ever again so it's so much easier for me to vlog and make a video it was like when I went in when I when I basically went to Copenhagen I really enjoyed that weekend and I was filming I was just you know enjoying the time and I feel like I can't really do it here in London like I get easily overwhelmed I you know even though I don't know many places but everything to me seems like touristy and I just can't be bothered because I've been living here for so long so yeah I don't know I'm just gonna try to kind of like give you updates about kind of every day for my weekly vlogs if I do something interesting, obviously I'm gonna show you, but I will try not to put the pressure on me with filming. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like what was going on this week. And I have to say, I'm quite proud of myself to really stick it up to my uh, fitness challenge. I did minimum 10K every day. As I said uh, earlier, I went to gym now six times and did a home workout and today is 10th so I feel very good about it and I have to say today when I went to gym I did shoulders and after a long long time I really enjoyed it I felt like I have the pump I'm really feeling the music I didn't really care there's people around me I just really focused on the workout and I had the best time so hopefully tomorrow I will feel the same I think this is gonna be kind of ongoing battle in my head with me constantly comparing myself how I was uh, two three years uh, ago it's actually maybe four or oh, maybe it's even longer when I was really like on a peak of my fitness and I really enjoyed working out and everything but you know it's gonna take time I need to take it easy and hopefully there will be some success we will see but yeah, uh, if you kind of join me on this uh, March Fitness Challenge, let me know. If you want a Garmin, we can obviously follow each other there. Or hit me up on Instagram and we just can kind of keep ourselves accountable because it's always helped to have a friend that you can share the same struggles with. So, yeah, I think that will be it for today's vlog. And I will see you next week with a new one. Bye!